In the second learning objective of session three, we want to look at how to standardize a financial statement. Uh, essentially, we do this because uh, companies are varying sizes and we want to look at aspirin firms. How does Dell manage your inventory to such a low number? So if we're General Motors or Ford and we want to watch and, and look at Dell, we want to see how they do it. We can compare these companies on a percent of sales or percent of asset basis. So standardizing financial statements um, is a way to do this. Uh, you can do it within your industry. Certainly if Ford and GM are different sizes at different times during their uh, lifespan, you can compare these things by using standardized, these companies by using standardized financial statements. Uh, similarly, if another company is growing rapidly, um, again, you can use this to and see what they're doing well. You can compare it to the larger companies uh, on a percent of sales, percent of asset basis. So how do I common size a balance sheet? Essentially, I divide everything by assets. Um, take everything as percentage of assets, and we'll see an example of this in a minute. And then on the income statement, I divide everything by percentage of sales. So it's a very, very simple thing to do to common size or standardize uh, one of these financial statements. Here's a sample uh, common size balance sheet. Uh, everything is just done as percent of assets. So I divide each uh, line item by its corresponding um, total assets. Uh, if I want cash as a percent of assets, I just take uh, 84 over 3373 and get 2.5% and so on down. So I'm basically going vertically down the balance sheet to uh, calculate the percent of assets. And you can see I can compare this on a a time trend analysis going uh, to the left or to the right uh, back before 2008 and after 2009 I can I can look at any number of years and see how my uh, cash as percent of assets accounts receivable as percent of assets are changing and are we in trouble is our uh, inventory as percent of assets going up that might signal a problem so we can use these common size elements to detect possible problems looking at time series uh, at, at these balance sheet percentages over time. That's very simple. We can also look at a common base year. So we can take 2008 as a common base year and divide uh, the, the 2009 value divided by the 2008 value and get 1.17 for cash. For instance, this cash in 2009 is 17 percent higher than it was uh, last year. And that's going horizontally year over year. And um, again, you can look for problems to see if your uh, receivables are going up uh, too fast, uh, if your inventory is going up too fast, and so on. So these common size analyses can help us begin to uh, detect problems.